In this video, I'll try to make an Iron Man suit, and the first way I tried doing that was by making a mold out of duct tape and saran wrap. I pretty soon realized that I didn't have to do this because I could just 3D print the parts. But I still wanted to make the chest and legs out of cardboard because it would cost less and it would be a fun challenge. The specific suit I wanted to make is the war mark, and I thought these tubes would be perfect for the weapon on his back. Got some pieces here, like the ear buffs, and like eyes, and like just stuff to hold the servos in place. And then once this is done printing, I need to print this, and then the mask should be complete. I just need to put in some electronics and glue everything together and it should, like the mask could pretty much be completed. Everything was going pretty well with the helmet, but I was having problems with the rest of the suit. Having a kind of hard time finding the chest plate like templates though, cause all I'm finding are these like templates, but it's not like the full template. So yeah. I'm gonna try looking for a full template and then I should be done. Yo, okay. I just got the other Iron Man 3D prints off and they look actually pretty good. Like, can't even see the layers. Let me see in the light. Yeah, it's really clean. But there were some failures on some. Like this one didn't print all the way. There was a lot of, a lot of trash. We had a spaghetti error. All right, it's been about a week or something, but I got some of the head piece done. I got the jaw pretty much done. I've got like two more pieces to put on. I'm gonna put in the electronics, like the servos and like padding and stuff. Oops, there's some. Yeah, there's the padding and then it's to go like in the head there there's some wires so what's up and then proceeds to try putting the battery holder into the head until realizing that it has to be hot glued into place here's what i have done so far i'm very happy with how the helmet's turning out the electronics for the mask arrived so i decided to start putting them together the first thing that I did was put the servos into their compartments. I needed to make two of these so that the mask would move up and down. This was the first one done. I then proceeded to make the second one. Here you can see the second one finished. Now I need to go outside and solder everything.
All right, this thing is almost done. Just uploading the code, processing, and it's gonna go through the wires and through this little thing in the jiggy. And then if all this wiring worked, hopefully, once I press this little tiny button, these these motors should move. All right, I brought everything inside. Uh, codes uploading right now on the screen. Hopefully, once this code is done loading, once I click this button, this button, uh, these servers should move. All right, turns out uh, this cable that I was using is a charging cable, and I actually needed a cable that transfers data, so my brother found this one, and we're trying it out right now. So far, it's going pretty well. The light's on. <gasps> it worked? It you, worked? Wait, no, compiling, now uploading. This is taking longer than... Yes! yes. Wait, wait, I'm ah! so good at this. I'm actually oh. awesome. Yep, it's working. All right, um, there's a problem with the ESP32 that I just found out about. So, uh, this pin right here is actually wired to D2, and I need to wire it to pin D4, because apparently pin D2 is like a reset button or something. Uh, I don't know, I'm still learning about it, but... I'm going to try, uh, try rewiring that tomorrow or someday, and then hopefully it should work. All right, it is officially the morning, and I'm going to re-solder the D2 pin to D4 pin. And then hopefully it should, like, all the electronics should work. So I'm going to move this pin to this one. D4, D4. So, uh, wait, actually this one, the one right beside it. All right, we're back inside. I have the new pin installed and I am now uploading the code. Okay. Oh. He's done? It moved. All right, moment of truth. It yes, Woo! it works. I later realized that the servos worked plugged into the wall, but did not work with the current battery setup. I'm gonna just do a quick fix for now to see if this even works. I chop these wires. Okay, there we go. Old. Okay, that worked. I don't know. Okay, there, so now I just need to go solder these together. All right, I'm outside and now I'm gonna solder these together. Okay, everything is working. So when I press this button, the server will move. So now I'm just gonna start putting the things together. Yo, there's the head cassette. This is gonna be like on, the, on my head. And the mask. <laughs> it's gonna be like this. This is gonna be on my head and then boom, mask up, mask down, mask up, mask down. And it's gonna have lights. All right, I got these battery packs zip tied together and I just need to glue them onto here. Not glue really guns warming up. And then I need to put it on this, like basically the whole headpiece. Okay, big update. We are almost finished. I just, look at this. 
All right, I just need to screw in some other parts, hot glue everything together, put in the padding, and then we are finished. See you guys when I'm done. All right, it is officially done. It's all put together. And if you click this button on the side, I'm thinking I'll probably make a V2 version. This will probably be V1 because I see like there's some 3D printing errors and like uh, some stuff is not sized properly. There's a little bit of warping. Um, inside, like the motors are kind of malfunctioning, but I'm going to get that one replaced. Some of the eyes are kind of peeling in the back light for the lights just popped off. So yeah, I'm gonna need to do some work, but I think for the first time, this is pretty good. For the second version, I'll probably spend more time on it, like sanding, maybe some painting. And one thing that I really wanted to do differently next time is get UV cured resin, because that's way stronger and it dries pretty fast, I think. Uh, also, it looks just better than, like you could kind of see the hot glue. And like here's some more 3D printing details. But I think for the first time this is pretty good. Oh <laughs> the side panel peeling off. But yeah. I need to do some touch-ups, but I think it's pretty good. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.